Hi, my name is Darlene, and I wanted to show you a video on how I curl my hair without heat. Uh, I take the section, section here. First, I shampoo it and condition it and dry it. We, I, you know, I let it air dry. I let it get 80% dry. I with a little dampness, but it's almost totally dry. And then I take the uh, leave-in, uh, the leave-in moisturizer and put it through my hair, you know, everything, comb it through, and take each section and twist it. I hold my finger here while I work it around, still twisting and twisting, keep putting it around. So when I get to the end, I put it underneath. I do it to the whole head. My part is here. So what I do in that section is bring the twist closer to my part. So that way the waves will start ahead of time. Alright, so wherever your part is, that's where you want to have your twist located. Alright. And I'm growing out of a relaxer. So this much of it is natural. So I use this method to stretch my hair also. You know, so which means you have to rub it real good when you start twisting. And it's very important that you're like 80% dry because you don't want to take all day and you don't want to afro. If your hair is all wet and you put set lotion on it, and I've tried it, it's going to, you're going to pretty much have a real curly fro, which is not bad, but what I'm looking for is something that's going to fall loose later. That is why I didn't use the set lotion. I only use the, um, the um, moisturizer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this all loose. I just put my fingers right through the center and pull it apart. Do it with the whole thing carefully. You know, just separate it. I don't comb through this because if I put a big comb through it, <laughs> then it's going to be just a big puff ball. And you don't want that. Alright, so just separate it, separate the whole thing, and before I go any further, I want to explain to you how I did the pardons on my hair. I did that back section across the bottom, I did that first, and I did the parting sideways in a little crooked, three sections, and then in the middle here, depending on how wide your hair is, you're going to make sure you're going to brick layer it. You don't want any part going all the way down the middle of your head. So if you have two parts in the middle, you want one on top to start on top. So your part's going to be here and here. This is camera. It's tricky. <laughs> in here. Alright, so it's going to be brick layer. You understand what that means. So the row at the bottom, they're going to be about this wide. Then the row around the top. And then, you know, on the top here. I know my part is here, so I'm going to make my knot closer. You know, you experiment where you like your parting to be. Alright, and now I'm just going to take this whole thing apart. And the good thing, my parts are really slanted sideways, where you can jig-jag the part, zigzag the part, because you don't want to walk around with a, a head full of parts in your hair. It's just ridiculous. And, it, you know, you'd be surprised how many people don't tell you. So, and then if they did your self-conscious the rest of the day. So what you do before you leave your home, get a mirror. Get a mirror and look at the back of your own head. Don't leave that without a mirror. Make sure you brick layer your hair. This is an excellent protective style for the uh, week if you walk if you don't mind knots. And if you wear wraps, that's cool. You can you twist it and wrap your hair if you like something tighter or your hair is longer. My my hair comes right past uh, my shoulder.
My hair is right here. But when you have it in the knot, <laughs> you can't tell because, you know, you have the shrinkage. But I'd rather have my shrinkage with the curls right now and slowly let it relax than with just the natural hair with no, um, no style going on. My hair is so fuzzy naturally, it's like baby hair, that um, I just prefer to give it a curl. Now in the summertime, uh, I'll start off like this, you know, and then have nice headbands and wear your hair natural. But my hair doesn't stay lifted when it's natural. Like I said, it, it falls. So I'm giving it a little lift now. You know. I shouldn't stretch it out that much, but I was just showing you the, the length. You know, and as the time goes by, it's gonna it's gonna relax. It's gonna be very nice once it's relaxed. What I'm gonna do at the end of my day is show you what it looks like when I'm home when I come back. And of course, at the end of your day is when your hair is perfect. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You know, I can mess with it more now, but if I do that, it's going to be too long at the end of the day. All right, so now we just have my hair done in like five minutes. All right, so it's not, it's not bad, and I'll see you later.